Hey everybody, this is the Geeks Maniacs Play uh, Let's Play series uh, brought to you by Geeks Mania and GeeksMania.com. Geeks Mania Madison, the hottest arcade. Uh, I think we're going to go back there, what, sometime soon? soon maybe? Very soon, yep. Play some arcades. Shout out to Jordan and Mike and John down there. I've been and, having a uh, major craving for some pinball. Oh yeah, dude, definitely. You can get that fulfilled at Geeks Mania. Um, right now, if you... Uh, Trivia question. Um, first person to put in the comments what this game is, just by looking at what you're seeing now, we'll get a prize of some kind. We'll figure it out later. But uh, you'll get a super cool piece of gaming history from us. Um, and now contest is over. So, <laughs> so I mean, it's going to be weird. You're going to, whoever puts it down first, they win. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so let's start it. Let's show them what we're playing. That's right, bitches. It's Fester's Quest. You game sons of bitches. You've got to be ready for the quest of Fester. Um, we decided, after seeing a lot of these review videos of Fester's Quest, uh, most people don't like this game. I happen to like it myself, and I know I, oh, Rocco dude. Steve here loves it. Those are all it's been red. driving me crazy. Yeah. Um, but we noticed that every review video... Uh, Leaves out, like, important info about this game. Because, I don't know, you either need to have the manual to understand what's going on, or or whatever. But, um, we wanted to show you further into the game. So, right now, he's in the sewers heading away from... I'm, I'm headed towards the first uh, alien boss. The first alien boss. I got the gun pretty much leveled up, although I did catch a uh, red gun. Yeah. And brought so him down I'm, to this... Oh, there's a blue gun up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, if you hear me say red, oh, no, it's blue. It's because Rocco Steve is colorblind, and this game's uh, tokens and shit are exactly like the frequency to make it very hard to tell which is which. Um, so thanks, Sunsoft, for being dicks. Um, you might have noticed that our game has stepped up a little bit. Uh, the videos are going to have a little bit more, you know, just a little bit more uh, visibility to them. Like, you'll see what we're playing on the left-hand side or the right-hand side, and or, yeah, left-hand side, and then what system it's on on the right-hand side. That's all Dan's doing. Yep. I, I edit them, and so I'm teaching myself uh, how to get everything done in After Effects. So thanks, guys, for your comments and your questions. We won't have any more glitches with video or audio, hopefully, um, well, now that, that I've actually... That is the key word. <laughs> yeah. Now that I've actually um, uh, started working with what the software does. Um, now... If anyone has an Elgato Pro HD60, um, I'll put a link to the to the file, the the, the uh, tutorial file that showed me how to set everything up for what I'm doing here for the Retron, so that it outputs something that we can actually work with in After Effects. Um, you'll notice that uh, that we uh, he seems to know where he's going. I don't know, but look at this 3D action. Could I'm your so stupid Genesis lost. do this? No, Nintendo does. What Genesis can't. Okay, now drop the. Yeah, you gotta. So TNT him. Man. Drop it down, and then when it explodes, you uh, press pause, and it'll it'll kill him. And then I don't know how you can tell when it exploded or not. Oh, you did it too late. Far too late. <laughs> I beat him. I know, but you didn't... You I didn't wasn't going to use the cheat way. You got to cheat him to beat him. I don't. You ain't cheating, you ain't playing, son. I just beat him. That ain't cheating. It's working the system to your advantage. <laughs> Clue. Uh, it's a... Something. It's the end of a spaceship. I maybe. don't know what it is. But I will not spoil it's it. It's a violin. It's a viola. Oh, hey, speaking of violas and violins... uh. Um, Rainbow Derp will be playing again with us tomorrow. And, um, oh, my dog came in. Did she get upgraded for Rainbow Gash? Hey, that's not right, dude. We don't call her that. And She came up with that name herself. I know. By the way, I don't like that name. I think that name's not cool. So, no, I'm calling her Rainbow Derp. Okay. It's better. Well, see, now I've been updated on the situation. Yeah. Well, I, I wrote it on the last video. In fact, every video that I posted recently has her name as Rainbow Derp, not... Rainbow Gash, you fucking filthy villain. I didn't... I, didn't I know! We didn't name her that. She named that herself. And then fucking goes on to tell everyone this shit. And You want to hear some, a fucking funny story, too, about my sister and her daughter, oh, Aurora? 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call her out by name because the shit was fucked up. So I do voices and stuff. I do impressions and everything, and uh, I can do an impression of a fellow from TV. Hmm, look at that bald some bitch. He looks like he'd be sexy in the sack. Hmm, get in that sewer, boy. Dig in that dirt tunnel. All right, so you hear that? That's Herbert from uh, Family Guy. I was doing that over my sister's house, and it was making my niece laugh. And uh, she comes back and tells me one day, "Hey, Uncle Dan, I told uh, I told my friends that they they think that it's great that you're able to do Herbert the pervert from fa from Family Guy." I told them you do it better than anyone else, and I'm like, "Uh huh." And she says, "Don't worry, I told them not to tell her parent tell their parents." And I'm like. Why don't you just fucking call the cops and come to my house, you idiot? No. No, and I'll never do it again. So you just heard me do it for the last time because I don't want to go to fucking prison. Fucking, he could do a pervert voice. Fucking shit, right? That's how you catch charges. See, my big problem with this game is that sometimes I, I wait too long to use shit because I'm trying to save it for the boss fights. As you can tell, it just happened to me. Now I start at the damn beginning of the level again. Yeah, yeah. I saw... But you have that three health now instead of the two. And you haven't been, like, slapped around by bugs, causing you to go slow. Shit keeps up. I'm going to use that turbo <laughs> controller. We have a turbo controller. I'm telling you to use it. I told you to use it from the beginning, but you don't listen. Yeah, he's going to... It's cheating. Well, the big oh, thing is... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Ethical Joe. You start, yeah. you start using turbo controllers on Fester's Quest, we're going to use it on next, Dragon Spirit. Yeah, I'll use it on every game that will allow me to use it. I bought the damn thing. I'm gonna use it. It's mine. It's licensed. It's a licensed controller. Nintendo want. Nintendo made like that giant metal NES Advantage controller that fucking had. You could dial exactly how much you wanted to cheat, like exactly how fast the turbo was on that thing. It even had a button for slow motion. And all that did was just pause and unpause the game yeah. real, real fast, which I thought was funny. I was like, that's not slow motion. That's somebody being an asshole to you. And at this point, he has the most powerful gun you can get, which is great. So, the, but that also means that anytime a gun icon comes up, he just doesn't get it at all. It's a lot go get it. Yeah. So yeah, it's been about a week or so since we shot it. Maybe two weeks, right? Since we it's shot been a stuff. Minute. It's been a minute. Um, but luckily, I had to edit stuff, and so that added time to everything. But uh, yeah, those blobs are fucking jerk offs. They, just, they multiply, and then they die, and then they multiply after they die. That's just horrible. You just downgraded your whip, buddy. I don't have it yet. It's at the next house I gotta go to. Oh. Is that boss gonna be there again? Mm -mm. Oh, you killed him, you just wander through his house and you get out of there? Pretty much. I bet you'd be really good at Golgo 13. Top Secret Mission, have you ever played that one? It's, it's got, like, the same kind of 3D buildings and shit. Where you have to like go around in a maze and stuff. Only you actually fight stuff in those buildings. It's funny, I actually rented this game and Go Go 13 on the same weekend. I was over at my buddy Derek's house and we uh <laughs> his parents were gone for the weekend, so we decided to drink, right? And um children don't drink when you're fucking twelve or eleven. Um, all the bad stories start off. Oh shit, I better move off that just in case I don't want to accidentally use one. Yeah, so um, his parents are gone, and next boss is gonna be we're like, we're gonna drink something. Ah, oh, yeah, we're gonna be adults, and we found uh, some Bailey's Irish cream underneath the sink, right, or in the cabinet. Uh, but that's all that's there. And I'm like, Irish cream. I bet we can mix this with uh, like it says it's cream to mint, so it's like minty. So I bet we can mix this with ice cream and make like smoothies and shit. Ooh. Yeah, you know what alcohol does to dairy products? Curdle. Oh yeah, dude, big time. But we drank two big fucking giant Bailey's Irish cream milkshakes. I can tell you why I'm not good at this game. <laughs> because the first time I played it, I was smashed off my ass. Um, and uh, Derek's parents, may they both rest in peace, are gone now. So I feel comfortable telling that story. <laughs> now that they're no longer with us, they can't be mad at him for being... A juvenile delinquent. Derek also could play the banjo. He's like one of my only friends who could play instruments and shit that like crazy good too. Like he was like a championship banjo player. Derek, if you ever hear this, just swing by and say hello. 
Um, ooh, look at this. Cobblestone streets are in the rich part of town now. Mm -hmm. So where do you get more health? Like expanded health, max health? Uh, there's one more, but I'm not quite sure where it's at. Got to get the power. Nintendo power. So your half-ass Sega Visions magazine. It comes out bi-monthly, and then they made you pay for it. What the hell? Actually, that's not fair. Nintendo just let gave you the first Nintendo power for free, and then you paid like twelve dollars a year for the subscription. I think that basically just covered their shipping costs because it's basically just a giant advertisement for yeah. fucking Nintendo shit. The really cool thing about this game is, though, you do keep what you have, but you can go back to the houses and get more. Oh, so, nice. like, I used two of the invisible potions to get back here. Now I'm fully stocked again. And what does invisible potion do? Is that what you were using when you were in the boss fight? You're invincible for oh, a short period. I see. And it also gives you full health? No. Oh. Uh, the regular potions give you full health. Oh, okay. Or the reason why you collect money mm -hmm. is uh, anytime you go to a hot dog stand... You can buy hot dogs and get and for, So, for $5, you get full health. Oh, cool. Which... I mean, it kind of sucks because there's not too many of them, but when right. you do come across yep. them, it's awesome because you don't have to waste a, a potion since you only get five of them. Yeah, and it's only been like three minutes or so since we were at this area. I'm not quite yeah. all the way back yet. Yeah, but, I mean, you know. It, it's, so it's, it's not pretty like quick saying, if you know yeah, where you're going. Exactly. It's not as bad as everyone says it is. But you guys also didn't get to see the first 20 minutes of us watching him fucking grind out to get that gun either. Yeah, that that's the biggest thing. You have to have the patience to... If you try doing these levels and you don't have the max gun, Pain in the dick. you're screwed because it's such close quarters yeah. that you really can't go down the series. Even with this, you have to be in the right spot. Absolutely. Fucking, ugh. Could they have picked a more unappealing member of the Adams family to be the hero of this fucking thing? Why can't it be like... Pugsley had a game. Pugsley also is a little fucking turd. So, I look like Pugsley. I didn't say bit. anything. It's okay. I fucking know what I look like. Shit. The Those kindest suck. The, the kindest thing that I've been dis uh, I've been compared to is I kind of look like Oliver Platt. I'm like, oh, okay. And you kind of look like Jack Black. I'm like, oh, motherfucker. Really? Okay. I kind of look like um that that dude on those uh, insurance commercials. Guy. Yeah. Those insurance commercials now? Like those Allstate commercials? The black guy? No, no. The, yeah, the fucking <laughs> Dennis Haysbert. No. Um, no, the, this guy from... Oh, these commercials are actually pretty funny. Um, he's, like, talking about fitty, uh, about what it means to be in good hands and... He's, like, at a spa getting shit done. <laughs> Funny kid, but I kind of look like him. And he's going to be offended because everyone gets offended. Oh, you don't look like me. Like, fuck, dude. I do. I'm sorry. It's just the facts. We both have that this pug nose and this fucking weird-ass face. Can't help it. It's Midwest face. We got it. He's from Iowa, for God's sakes. Of course he does. It's Midwest. Oh, look at that. It's a barrier of F you, buddy. <laughs> want this money? Stuff goes. You want this money? You get nothing. Um, oh, but he's in this movie called The Final Girls. Great flick. Oh, speaking of flicks, I'm going to be reviewing movies on this web, on this uh, web channel place as well. You don't say. Yep, my first movie. Um, basically, I'm going to do uh, kick-ass movies, basically. Movies I think are kick-ass that nobody ever reviews. Um, and it's going to go back into my VHS collection. It's going to go back into my early days of liking movies. Um, Let I may... me know when we do the classic Disney episode. I got the popcorn. Awesome. Well, yeah, I have to watch them again, so I'll tell you when we're going to review something that I haven't watched in a long time. But, I mean, I see a lot of people, like, reviewing nostalgic stuff, but, like, I'm like, man, you guys didn't, like, and really shitty things. Like, if you guys like watching reviews where people are hilarious, um, Spoonie, uh, his channel's called Noah Antweiler, I think. Um, he reviews, like, really shitty movies, and they're really funny. Like, he, he also does commentary over them. And The Cinema Snob. Cinema Stop Snob has one of the best channels on YouTube. Entertaining wise, um, and so we're back, back to where you were, right? Just about. I think, yeah, yeah, I think it was this sewer that I died in. We're gonna do another extra. I don't know, seven minutes, ten minutes, maybe. We'll go. We'll go a little longer on this one. Try to get to the next boss. We'll try to get to the next boss and show people. Because I mean, when have you seen a review of this fucking game that shows you this boss ever? And oh, it's only, also, it's I'm only gonna start the second one, and I'm gonna start using thumbnails too for these, so that you'll know at a glance what you're looking at. Um, because yeah, that was bothering me as well. I'm like, how does show like continue or game grumps or whatever do that and i'm like oh they just create a little little image for it I'm like i could do that i'm smart i has a smart um oh also uh comment like and subscribe at the bottom 
but also leave suggestions for games you'd like to see us review. And there's um, a good chance we have them or yeah. can get them from yep. somebody. Yep. Um, I have access to a local gaming store. I can say, hey, we'll do a plug and we'll get get a game from you. Um, system now, of have, course, if you're wanting us to do something like Little Samson, then you're just... Uh... I mean, I, ha <laughs> I have access to a way to play Little Samson, but it ain't an actual copy because fuck that. Yeah. We're both collectors and we both say fuck the price for Little Samson. Uh, it shouldn't be the same price as fucking Cancer Medicine. Yeah. It's a goddamn video game. I also don't think it's cool to reproduce, like, carts, because it takes actual cartridges out of circulation. That's why your fucking copy of Contra now costs 50 bucks, because people were like, oh, it's a butt common game, I'll, I'll use that and create a little Samson repro cart. Look at that little dickhead digging underground. What a, what a chode monster. So, there, three is the highest health you can have uh, no, in this there, area? There, I, I'm not sure of that. There's one other area that I've read about. Okay. Just, you know, kind of going through uh, shit online. But I've never personally found it. I don't know if maybe I've already passed it or maybe it's further uh, along. It's just it's something where I'm not aware of the actual gotcha. location. I think Vim.net, V-I-M-M. -M, I told you about that website, right? Yeah, with the manuals. Yep. I think they have Nintendo Power Scans, too. But I might be wrong about that. Nintendo Age doesn't. And yet Atari Age has like all the Atari like um, collector bitch. books. I think it's a real prick, huh? Oh, look. I've never even seen this area. Little waterfront park area. Yep. Look at your Love's Park right now. This is where you take the ladies. <laughs> uh, Uncle Fester. Jesus. Right. Uh, yeah, he takes them, quote unquote. I don't know if they were going with him, but... It smell like chloroform to you. Oh, my God. Come and with me. You don't want to die tired, do you? <laughs> pretty soon here, we'll be getting the whip as well. Oh. And the whip. The whip's pretty cool, actually. Are you a virgin? Because you're about to be chased. <laughs> Jesus Christ almighty. Yeah, sexual predator fucking Fester's Quest. That would suck. This is a, this. I'm just saying, he's just not the best character. If I shave my head, I could probably play Fester. Halloween's coming up. I got fat neck. Yeah, but I ain't gonna be fat by Halloween. I was telling you in the car, I'm... Pat, I'm, hey, that's what padding's for. Yeah, but I'm gonna be... I'm, here's my goal, is just do cardio. Because I've... I talk to guys online, they're like, you should do muscle as well. I'm like, yeah, but I don't care about losing muscle definition. I care about losing fat. And to do that, you gotta burn calories. And to burn calories, it's cardio. It sucks, it's boring, but that's what you gotta do. But... If I go to the gym, I've got four different machines I can use, like like ten minutes a piece. Not just having to run now. Exactly. Elliptical twenty minutes, bike twenty minutes, elliptical uh, twenty minutes, and then back to, um, that's it. Do three sets of twenty minutes. You've done an hour of cardio. You are now doing more cardio than you should a day. You'll lose weight. Just focus on how much calories you take in. By the way, folks, it's as simple as that. <laughs> how many calories you take in? I don't care about vitamins, nutrition, and all that shit. Worry about that when you're fit. But for now, how many vitamins, do, how many calories do you take in today? Now, here's the whip. <coughs> so fucking Morticia gives you the whip? Yep. Oh, I bet I know where that... What the fuck is that? Uh, pretty much all that is... is oh, humping spider from Geneva. That spider comes in the way to tell you it's pretty much time to move on to the, a new level. Oh, really? Like, hey, get moving on. Oh, he's like the skate or die beast from 720 Degrees? There you go. Skate or die. Sexual no, deviance the, or die. But now he's trapped over there. What the fuck? The is bad he part about the whip, like I said, is uh, it, it, picks it picks anything up. up. Yeah. So you got to be real careful when you're using it. And right now it's pretty weak, but I actually got to start paying attention for blue whips now. Once it gets leveled up, a lot of the bosses, yeah, uh, it's suggested that you, you actually need the whip in order to kill them. Oh, yeah, them. the flame whip to kill most of the bosses. And once you get it, it is But I told badass. you how to kill the bosses. You throw you throw the, uh, the cheat. TNT, you let it explode. When it explodes, you pause it, and it... You'll see it rack up damage on them even though it's paused. It And you know why it does that? And here's a little tip that tells you everything you need to know. Because um, Sunsoft is amazing at making games. And they invented a way with their games how to make boss creatures that were larger than the sprite limitations of the NES. Like what you're seeing here, Fester, when you see him walking around and he flickers, that's because he, he's exceeding the sprite limitations. For thing, that's a blue one. Um... Uh, so, you can see my little shitty whip, and now, see, it, it upgraded it. Yeah, oh, a chain, chain whip. 
sweet. It's like, like Castlevania. And as you can see, though, it picks the shit up. That's why I don't <coughs> like using the whip unless I'm hitting somebody that right, I, a boss. I can't shoot yeah. or a boss. So, um, but yeah, but you'll see how he's flickering. It's because he's exceeding the sprite limitations, which is a box that's like a square. I don't remember the dimensions. But um, Sunsoft got around that for their bosses by making them background. So you notice how the background never flickers. The bosses will ha will be the background, and they'll move around, but their weapons will be sprites like you are, active sprites rather than the background. And that'll that's why they're always fought on a black background. Everything there is red. Just so you know. Jesus. Yeah, it's all big pile of red bullshit. Look at you bravely going past. All right, guys. I think we got five more minutes, maybe. Maybe five I'm more. Trying to get to that new boss. How close is the new boss? Uh, not too far. I okay. Get out of this sewer. And... Man, you were just killing it. You have to have the whip out to get the blue whips. Nope. Oh, cool. Cool. Speaking of whips, you ever had a Dole whip? No, I'm um, from uh, the from electric Disney? whip. Damn, what the fuck are Morticia and fucking know, Gomez right? doing with this fucking thing? Holy shit. Take this, Uncle Fester. The Soleil and the Pels come on poignard. Tish, that's French for fucking you whipped my scrotum right off my body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, rip. But the whips come in handy, rip especially Raul with those Julia. red guys. He was fucking amazing as Gomez Adams. Okay, this is our next Angelica boss Houston. Fight. Spicy as Morticia. Is this where the boss is? Yep. Cool. I'm trying to think which pattern this one was. You just gotta find the door, right? Well, there's two doors. One leads out. Oh, and right, one leads to the, to the boss. boss. Yeah. I think this one might have been the. One where I'm supposed to go straight. Nope. There he is. Alright, so. Yeah. You gonna do the TNT on him? Do the TNT trick. Come on. Do it. Do the TNT trick. Nope. Alright, so. Yep. No. There you go. Oh, you don't press down and press down and start again. Return the game. Press. Yep. Just let it go. Oh, it didn't work. Never mind. Oh, nice. The invincibility potion, that's mean as shit. But you'll notice how he's not flickering. But his whips and his arms are. His yeah. feet. His feet are sprites, but he himself is part of the background. I think that's really cool. Little information for all of you who don't know about the video games. The more you know. The more you know. Is there a... What does select do? Did you press it? Pause it. That's what you do. TNT him, and then hit the select button. Oh, shit. What? I didn't have it on TNT. Nope. You have to... Yeah, oh man, never mind. Maybe it's just Blaster Master that works on. I could shit. be... I'm totally wrong. Uh-oh. Should have got the flame whip. I was trying not to waste too much time. I'll probably end up dying here because of it. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I might be. Wrong. I, I thought. I thought I was right about that. That you could bomb him and then. <laughs> He's certainly not whipping you very hard. Man, fucking die already! God dang. Whew. Shoot. That was close. And the cool thing is, once you kill and the boss, the really cool thing is we're almost restocked. at twenty-five. Look at that shit. Let's see what the next level is. It a, is an alien spacecraft? It's a UFO. I figured it out in two pictures. At first, I thought it was the uh, Mad Max's interceptor, but it wasn't. Definitely wasn't that. All right, guys. So that's it. Um, once again, we are sponsored by Geeks Mania Madison and GeeksMania.com. Uh, head on down there for comics, video games, pinball, pinball, um, and uh, gaming. Actual tabletop gaming, man. They do the. Uh, are one of the locations for Madison's um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic Tournaments, Pokemon. Um, and they host tournaments. Like, uh, if you go to their website, you can actually watch the Smash Brothers Melee uh, tournament they had there with the University of Madison. Um, this right here is where you get the missiles, which are pretty badass. Cool. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. <laughs>